All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This is a 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. Customers complain on this one about his AC not working. So let me start up the truck. And let me show you real quick. Um, I got a little uh, thermometer here, digital thermometer to show you um, what the AC is blowing. This one is actually not blowing cold, but um, let me go ahead and turn the AC on. Uh, we're gonna hit the we're gonna get it all the way down the AC is on I got it on a maximum uh, AC I get the recirculation going on so I should be getting some pretty cold air out of here uh, The weather today right here in California right now. We're hitting about 75 to 80 degrees So I should be getting some cold air Anywhere between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit out of the vent. So let me get you a little bit closer so you can see and um You guys can see that temperature is not even dropping. It's stuck at 78.4. The first thing I do when I when I got an AC check is I verify the customer's concern up in here, make sure that it's not blowing cold, cold air like they're saying. And then I go straight to the compressor and I make sure that the clutch is engaged. But this is a 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. So this one doesn't have a magnetic clutch. It has that variable displacement compressor that has a swash plate inside which controls the AC pressures. So uh, let me take you under the hood and uh, show you what I'm talking about. All right, so very first thing you wanna do, the first thing I do is I go down here and I look at the compressor and you guys can see it's spinning, but that's actually because it's a variable displacement compressor. It has a swatch pit inside and it doesn't have a magnetic clutch. But I hooked up my hoses right here. And if you guys take a look at the machine, there's absolutely no pressure on here. Zero PSI on the low side and on the high side. So that right there tells me that this thing has a huge leak. So the very first thing I do is I do a visual inspection of all the hoses, all the fittings. If you look right here, these hoses look pretty dry. If I had a leak on one of those hoses or anywhere else on any other hose, it would look something like this. This right here came out of a Kia Optima that I just did and you can see how it looks when the hose is leaking all right so if you guys suspect that you have an ac leak somewhere ac leak somewhere look at your hoses like see if you look at this fitting right here uh you can see a little bit of seepage right there that's a common leak on these crimps uh they usually tend to leak from it but this one's pretty bad this came from another car but what i want to show you guys on this car what i actually found is up in here This car was hit on the front. You can look inside. The horn is actually broken. And uh, the corner of the condenser is where the leak is coming from. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is a problem right here. This car was hit in the front, and that's where all this is leaking from. So if you look at the bumper, there's actually a madrazo right there. And then the, the bumper is actually bent out right here a little bit. So this was a big hit. And what happened here was all the refrigerant came out of here. You can actually see traces of oil down under the car. So that's a dead indication of a leak. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is change the condenser out. And I think it comes with a dryer. But in order for me to do that, I gotta remove the whole entire front bumper. So I'm gonna set you guys up right now and we're gonna get to work on this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's go. Hyundai Santa Fe that's what it looks like after you take off the bumper now you can clearly see this car's been hit pretty damn good now over here is where the our damage was to the AC it looks like the horn was hit back a little bit and look right here that's where the condenser is leaking from uh, luckily his radiator wasn't damaged but that's where we're at right now the horn was broken if you look right here the connector for the horn is damaged uh, we're gonna have to get a new horn for him and then uh this guy's got to be a little bit more careful i don't know what he's been hitting but uh a lot of front end damage you can see this brace right here i'm gonna let him know about that uh but yeah to remove the bumper 
there's just a bunch of um, bolts and clips on top and then just the clips that hold on these fender covers and uh, two connectors and then one 10 millimeter bolt on this side and the same thing on the other side so right now that i have the bumper off uh, i'm going to remove the condenser we're going to pop the other one on there and then we're going to recharge the system and i just got to make sure that it blows nice and cold because it is getting hotter summer is approaching and people want their ac so 2017 hyundai santa fe ac condenser replacement So this is where we're at now got the little brace off uh now i'm not making this a step-by-step -step how to video because it's pretty straightforward you just got four bolts right here that you got to take off and the same thing on this side just so that you can remove the braces those um air chingaderas on each side that you got to take off now i keep them this way i keep this one on the right and this one on the left just so that i know where everything's gonna go and it's easier for me to put everything back together and i know it looks like a lot but it's actually not it just looks crazy because the bumper's off and this brace is off so just keep your nuts and your bolts organized in a good little magnetic tray like that and everything will be easy to put back together so uh, i'm gonna keep working here because uh, this one's leaving today just gonna pop in a new condenser real quick uh, put it under a vacuum and recharge it so uh, also the dryer on this one is part of the condenser but if it's not it's a good idea to recommend it yeah if it's not part of it recommend it and replace it but uh the condenser as far as taking it off right now is pretty straightforward so let's get to it real quick Always a good idea to replace your o-rings too you're already in here might as well change them out you just take these out real quick swap them out put some new ones on there two new o-rings are going in right now all right now it's just a matter of dropping the knee condenser in to go all right new condenser is in now all i gotta do is recharge it like i said earlier this dryer is part of the condenser so it's a good thing if it's not part of it highly recommend to change it uh right now what i'm doing is i'm waiting for a new horn because this horn got messed up he said he rear-ended somebody so this is the damage that was done he needs a new horn he needs a new connector i'm just waiting for that right now so while i'm waiting what i'm gonna do is recharge the system and this way i can make sure that there's no other leaks up in here and then uh we can start the car and actually make sure that it's blowing cold even as is right now so let me do that real quick i'm going to recharge it and uh then uh once the horn gets here we'll do some rewiring if we get a new pigtail depending on if we get it today or not put the bait the brace back right now we're not able to get that for him today and man that was a struggle to get back in because it's bent when it was on there was bolted on but some of the holes didn't align you can actually see right here how uh, they're a little bit off to the left but anyways that's what he's getting right now in the meantime we're waiting for the horn and that connector if we're able to get it but while i'm doing that while i'm waiting for that we're waiting for the horn and that connector so while i'm waiting for that I'm gonna pull a vacuum on the AC system. So I got it on 20 minutes vacuum and I'm gonna do a vacuum leak test after this. So we're gonna start that right now. The system is gonna go into vacuum. It's supposed to be putting vacuum for like 30 to 45 minutes, but there's no time for that right now. And uh, honestly, with 20 minutes of vacuum, this car shouldn't have any problems. I always do it like this and I never have any problems with it. 
Uh, if you guys do anything differently, leave it in the comments below. Tell me if actually 25, 30, 40 minutes actually makes a difference for you. But I don't think so. There's no problems here. Plus, we got a new dryer, so that shouldn't be a problem for us. Uh, right now, we're just waiting. And after this, we just put the bumper on as soon as we get that new horn. If not, then you will have to come back for it. And then, uh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to put those on. A few moments later. All right. I up that brace is coming back off so that i can get those uh air deflectors back in so here we go got these little chingaderas back in now a lot of you guys probably won't put them back but these are very important because these are the ones that give you maximum airflow through the condenser and the radiator because as you see instead of the airflow bypassing through here it keeps everything going straight to the condenser but anyways right now um, we're doing a vacuum leak test uh, 20 minutes of vacuum have gone by uh, if this vacuum holds, then we pass the leak test, and if it drops, then we fail, and we got a leak somewhere. But I think it's going to pass. We've got two minutes left in here, and after this, we can see um, if we can recharge the system. And after that, we just uh, it's a matter of waiting because we still have no horn. But if anything, we might let him go like that because he still has a horn here. This horn works. Uh, I guess one is a high pitch and, a low, and the other one's a low pitch, but um, still got a minute left of vacuum. So we're gonna see if it holds right now. All right, leak test passed. We're good to go now. We can recharge the system. So let's see right here. It says 800 grams of R134A. That would be 0.8 kilograms, or in pounds we can call it 1.8 pounds. And it gives us the option of charging on high side or low side. I always go on the low side just because. So uh, let's charge this thing up. And then uh, we can go inside and check to see if it's growing cold or not. So let this thing do its thing. All right, all done here. Now this is the cool thing about this machine. After you're done, it, it asks you if you want to uh, equalize for the hoses or compensate for the refrigerant that's inside the hoses. So we put 1.8 in there. But remember, there's still a little bit of refrigerant left in these hoses. So there's not exactly 1.8 in the car. There's 1.8 in the car and in the hoses together. So I'm going to put compensate for the hoses. I'm going to hit abort. Now it's going to compensate. So it's going to pump in a little bit more refrigerant. And then we can disconnect the hoses. And then we can go inside and check out our AC to see if it's blowing nice and cold. All right, back inside the Hyundai. Let me uh, turn on the AC real quick and see where we're at. AC button is on, recirculation is on. That's gonna give me full AC. And we're already dropping. I can see right here, my thermometer went down to, whoa, 71. Okay, remember earlier we were at what, like 78, 64.4. Okay, this is dropping real quick. Yeah, AC is nice and cold. I can feel that right away. 59.2 and it's gonna keep dropping, guys. This is, uh, this is a fix. There you have it, 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, no AC because of a messed up AC condenser, like I said earlier. This guy rear-ended somebody and it cost him his AC condenser and his Freon. Uh, and as you guys know, AC can get pretty expensive. Luckily, um, the dryer was part of the condenser, but either way, this is a 2017, so parts are pretty expensive for newer cars. And um, yeah. Just waiting for the horn right now i don't know if i'm gonna end it right here or if i'm gonna show you guys when i put the bumper back and everything but you guys pretty much got everything you needed to see today if you guys have ac leaks on your ac system like i said check uh, do a visual first you're pretty much gonna uh check all the hoses all the fittings all the connections and um yeah ask questions uh if i would have asked the customer when this started you know he probably would have said yeah i rear-ended somebody so that would have that would have taken me straight to the condenser but i always i always check the condenser because it's very prone to damage because it's at the very front of the car i've seen condensers damage because of rocks 
uh, rear ends, accident like this, sometimes somebody just bumps somebody and this condenser is made out of weak aluminum. So yeah, they get damaged pretty easily, but the next day. All right, guys, finally got the new horn in. So I'm about to finish this car up for you guys so we can finish the video and post it up to give you guys something to watch. So here we go. guys we're all done here this thing is back to normal as normal as it was 2017 hyundai santa fe let's take it for a quick test drive let's go okay we'll hit the ac on ac is blowing nice and cold and uh yep that's it for this one another one fixed another one done we're getting paid uh yeah so that's it for this one i'm gonna call it a video right here and i actually waited uh for the following day to film that video but i put another video for you guys yesterday that was a uh the electronic brake caliper video so hopefully you guys like that if you guys like it don't forget to drop that thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel if this is your first time watching the homie hector hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so that you get notified every time i drop a new video and questions comments concerns or compliments. I'll take them down in the comment section below. And that's it, homies. Peace out.